What's up you guys? I am back home in New Hampshire for my birthday and I decided let me go ahead and surprise my friend Dana at his shop because he's also building a sprinter van. So it's kind of like a Rich and Dana competition. Who's going to finish the sprinter van first? I honestly think Rich will finish it first because Dana is doing way more high tech stuff. But I brought him a veggie burrito and I low-key wanted to try it. So I already took a bite of it. So I hope he won't be mad. And I also wanted to try his green tea. So I feel like I'm giving him something, but I wanted to try it first to approve it. So it's fine. It's totally fine. He has no idea that I'm showing up. I'm already parked and he literally didn't even realize that I pulled in. So this should be really, really interesting. Dana! rented it okay listen i know you like veggie burritos i wanted to try it first to make sure it was good enough for you okay you don't even care you heard veggie burrito give mm. it to me cool so this is yours oh thank you um and i wanted you to wash it down with a beverage which i i, I also tried first is there alcohol in this no straight green tea because i wrote on the street you don't drink anymore so depends who you ask uh, show me your sprinter. See guys, the Jeep that I'm renting. It should have been white. Tires, ugh, garbage. Okay, cool. So they have a little wood cutting station. Fun. Everyone, meet Jasper. It's lunchtime. Meet Jasper's Father. Creator. <laughs> Can't even be a sperm donor because that's not even a thing. But um, holy Toledo Batman. Come on, let me, can I show you something? Yes, Dana wants to show us something. And there's a lot of wiring going on here. The flooring the is ceiling cool. Is, is what I'm really the ceiling about. has a lot of stuff going on. So I'm, I'm putting these in. That's where it's going to catch the bed. I just wanted to show you the ceiling. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, yes. And that's your, okay, that's your fan. I have one of those too. And that's my air conditioner. Air conditioner. Really not sure if I have one of those. I'll have to ask Rich, because I don't know anything that he's doing. And um, you did that with the press of your button off of your phone, right? Yeah. Wow, okay. Bluetooth. Bluetooth, <laughs> sir. You know, for all those occasions that you're just like laying in bed, you're like, I'd really like to lift myself up. Yep. And then you. Wow. Now, okay, so just educate me. This lift, could you be, can it withhold your weight or no? It probably could, but I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary. Okay. So when it's lowered, it's going to rest in these. Um, Support kind of beams, supports. if you will. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Right now, I just finished the ceiling. Mm hmm We're moving on to, uh, I want to get this bed, like, finished. Oh, isn't that so beautiful? It really All the wires, so like, awesome. go up into the ceiling. Yeah. The supports for the beds. Mm -hmm. Everything's, like, hidden. Um, That's the goal. Yeah, everything's hidden. She's beautiful. Um, so much went into those silly panels. Like what? What's so much to you? Define um, so much, cause. So those are, those are soft maple. Okay. They're milled from five quarter down to five sixteenths. Mm -hmm. They're sanded three stages, 100, 150, 220. Yep. They're stained with two coats. And they're polyed with three coats of steel wool between each coat. And then all of them are countersunk, um, flak, fasteners and stuff, I don't know. A whole bunch of stuff. Starting from the ceiling, I feel as though I should be jealous. Super, super jealous. You guys already know that Rich installed my flooring and he's all like, it's waterproof. Oh wait, no, it's water resistant. I wonder if he used Armstrong. I don't know what the hell he did because he's not telling me anything. But look at Dana's. Whoa. That's where my shower is going to be. That's why it's a hole. You shower? Well, 
I'm not using a shower. It's for the guests. Oh, right. Yeah, because you just find your local lake. This is beautiful. Look at this flooring. And you have heated flooring, so there's actually like a heat pad or something underneath it, right? Um, it's on a glycol loop. Yeah, this, this entire... You, you can see it right there. Oh, that's right. And the entire floor uh -huh. is heated. Oh. Talking, it like... So like, when you go to Antarctica? Like more than just heated, like 160 degrees. Like you could lay on this thing and like, you could cook an egg on this floor. You don't eat eggs. Like therapeutic. So I think you should tell Rich that if you don't have a heated floor, then you don't want the van. <laughs> See, you guys, you guys heard it first. Dana is building this beautiful sprinter for me because Rich clearly doesn't know what he's doing. I don't even have freaking windows, bro. Rich. <sighs> Wait, oh. so you, you don't even have Tesla batteries? Uh. I thought. I thought Rich, like, plays with Teslas all the time. Okay. What? It's not even a hard. Whoa! What in the heck you got going on down there? Hold on, guys. I'm gonna flip the camera. This is a. Uh. What am I looking at here, Dana? Uh, what is this? You're looking at about 15 kilowatt hours of storage. Um, put that in English. <laughs> 15 <laughs> kilowatt hours. It means you can run anything you want. For how long? About as long as you want. So let's say, for example, I... Lift up air conditioner on high for 12 hours. With the blow dryer. No problem. What? Interesting. Mm -hmm. So basically what Dana is saying is I could definitely have my tanning bed. What is, why do I see two holes here? What's going on down there? Oh, this is, this is going to be my fish tank. Wait, why are you going to have, are you really putting fish in here? Like goldfish? Yeah, like pets. Like not for like bait. Like I love animals. Like just, you know, it gets lonely in a van. So then why aren't you going to put them out on display so you can, like, talk to them? Like, you could talk to Nemo before you go to bed, and you're just going to put Nemo in a hole? No, I just want them to be there. I just want to know they're there, but I don't want to be hassled by them. Okay, cool. So it's a comfort thing. Okay, so Dana's sprinter is a little bigger than mine. But listen, I had a great idea because I'm an optimistic, and I just think that everything can work. I want to have my Jeep, my new Jeep, my... I don't know what I mean, real Jeep gonna I'm going to stop talking to me like that. I'm talking to my friends. So I would like to have my Jeep trailed on the back of my Sprinter. Hear me out. Because once I get to the location, I'll be able to have my Jeep and explore and go through mud and rocks and whatever that I don't want to put my home through. And as I was telling Dana that, my good friend over here, Kurt, looked at me like I had 50 million heads. Introducing Hi. Kurt. He thinks I'm pretty stupid. Well, yeah. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Can't be scared your whole life. But I like to push the envelope. So tell me why I shouldn't. Sprinters that get towed, or sprinters that tow a lot of weight tend to crack the frame rails. Fix it. That doesn't sound too bad. I mean, it's fixable. You just have a little crack. You just don't want your Jeep falling off on the highway. So I Thank need you. a Prius. Prius would be towable. Or like. A motorcycle. Motorcycle. Scooter. Uh, scooter. Uh, what else would you recommend me using? for touring off-roading purposes that is not a Jeep that is towable. Is it like a Samurai? Good Lord, you what guys. What do they think that I am? I have a golf cart? A golf cart? I'm gonna go to my old job, the National Country Club, and grab a golf cart. <laughs> so Dana, since you're building this for me because Rich clearly doesn't know what he's doing, where's my gym? Uh. So there's a little misconception with van life. People are always like, I want to live in a van. No, you live out of a van. So yeah. your gym's outside. Oh my, uh, mm. okay. What if it's a rainy day? Then put a jacket on. Put a jacket on, okay. 
Ah, crap. That didn't really go exactly where how I wanted it to go. I thought you were going to be on my side because you're one of my closest friends. <laughs> I am on your side. It's outside. The whole world is your gym. You can go park in a mountain and climb a mountain. Or you can go park at a body of water and swim across it. Or you can, like, take your bicycle off the back rack and, like, pedal to the moon. All I heard was, Linda, I don't care about your wishes. They are basically, Rich and Steven are, instead of bringing, building me like a drop down bed situation like Dana has, I'm gonna basically have like benches on this side with like a table, you know, the basic, basic, basic stuff. And they're just gonna mush my bed together and hope well, for the best. This is the engineering marvel. Can't just expect somebody to just decide they want to do something like this. So Dana's sprinter, oh Jasper, is all black. And you know what's so crazy is I can kind of see him through the windows a little bit. Not too too much because they are tinted. And he has, oh this is awesome. He replaced the Mercedes logo with Life Are Out, which is his brand. Life Are Out just basically means find your adventure, really. And now that I'm walking in over this way, Dana doesn't quite yet have like a, the kitchenette area. I'm assuming his little kitchen's gonna be right in here, kind of like mine. But now that I'm, yeah, so that's him kind of cooking. No, I think. that's typing. Oh, typing, cool. But now that I'm over here thinking about it, um, Dana has windows, you guys. And I have no windows. So Dana, how come you have windows and I don't? Obviously I know that the Sprinter van that Steven and Rich are working on, they don't have windows. Yours obviously came with windows. So how come you're keeping the windows? Because Steven doesn't want me having windows because he says it's difficult to regulate the, the temperature. Is that true or is he just blowing smoke? No, it's a really, it's a valid point. Um, a lot of people don't like to have the windows because if you go to colder places, it's harder to keep the heat in. If you go to hotter places, obviously it's like the reverse. Um, mine came with windows, but I ripped them out and put different windows in because I want light, but also airflow. So when I open these, cause these, the bottoms open on both sides, I get a cross breeze. Yeah. And cross breeze in a van is so invaluable. Mm. But how do you think that that's gonna impact your temperature regulation though? Are well, you, or you just don't really care and don't handle it, it when you it, get there? It will to a point, but this van has like four sources of heat and it has a, a kick ass air conditioner. So mm. the energy loss isn't gonna matter compared to the power I can put out. Now, if I want it, I'm gonna have magnetic insulators that I can put over the windows when I wanna black it out. Cause at night, of course, that's another thing is like most van lifers at night, they want to be able to completely black out their windows. So it's not a thing you have to you have to make. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have these, like fill this magnet up. It'll be insulated, it'll be sound deadening because I'll, I'll have like a, a rubber compound as well as an insulator inside of it. So it's another thing to do, but I think it's worth it because I want to be able to be sitting at my desk here, working on the computer while I'm, you know, I'm cooking. I got the, the air flowing through. I got the light coming through. I got a, I got a window at the, um, where the head of my bed is. Mm -hmm. Just, I feel like laying out like in bed with the windows open, but you still have screens by the ocean. You got that sound, you get the birds. It's like, you can't pay for that. You know? No, I'd agree. Okay, so I love Steven and his thought process is correct. He's right, but he wrong. <laughs> okay, so I lied. So you're actually gonna have your kitchen on this side where the door is? Yeah, a yeah? Couple, couple of reasons. Maybe I want to cook outside. Open yeah. the door. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want to cook inside. Mm -hmm. um, so my cabinets, I know a lot of people are like, ooh, but space, ooh, but space. Whatever, I know what I'm doing. My cabinets are going to go from here all the way to here. Mm -hmm. And then this will be a control panel with all of my screens and it's going to be a, like a pilot station. Love it. And then this entire space from here all the way to here is about a seven foot long countertop. Dang. A jog here that goes around the motorcycle, very important. Um, and then free space all the way up to here. My sink will be here and I have a stove top going here. 
Um, okay. That's, that's this whole side. Are you going to have a fancy toilet like I do? So if you were to spin around mm -hmm. here, this is going to be a five foot uh, desk, undisturbed desk. So when I'm sitting here, look, looking out the window, I have a little loop. But to answer your question right here is the shower. It's going to be a stand up shower with a uh, composting toilet inside of it. But I can also pull out if I want to have an unencumbered shower without mm -hmm. something like uh, but I'll probably just work around it. Hmm. Um, and right here is going to be closet, about 27 inch floor to ceiling closet. A closet that you're really not going to use because you have like five shirts you circulate through. Well, my five shirts will have a nice place to hang. Mm, that is also true. And then I'm also going to have uh, another heat pump is going to go here. That's what these tubes this is a glycol loop that comes from my heat exchanger. Oh, okay, that's what I was gonna ask, but what are these tubes for so that works? Yeah, so this is, I'm gonna have um, a dedicated heat box to my shower. Mm. Why, you might ask? Because, um, one, it turned into a steamer. No, it really is so that I can hang up like snowboard gear, mm -hmm. um, ice climbing gear, things like that. I can crank the heat pump on, turn the exhaust fan on, and I can dry my shit in my van. Mm. Um, and if you just wanna like, heat up the shower and it's auxiliary heat source for the van so if for some reason my heated floors my air heater and my other heater all failed i have another heater so it's like okay um, i love that multi-purpose yeah we love it all right you guys so what i learned today was that i should have had dana do my sprinter i mean i don't know you have to ask kurt though Kurt doesn't really care. But I will say, I, I I can't even complain because Rich and Steven are doing this as a gift for me. I just think he should have brought in an expert. Kind of, kind of kidding, but kind of not because Rich is actually really, really good at what he does. And I'm really excited to see like the full end result. However, I wanted to show you guys something a little bit different coming from someone who literally is going to be living in this for probably the rest of his freaking life. Who knows? Because Dana, you just <laughs> never know with Dana. You see his face. He's like, oh, me. Ah, you're not wrong, but maybe. Well, we'll see. <laughs> it's going to be comfy. I mean, why leave? Yeah. And Dana is probably the bougiest hippie I've ever met in my life. What? Dana, you have heated floors and I mean, sometimes don't know when you washed your hair last. Well, I thought the heated floors were, like, necessity. And okay, well, send Rich an email because he didn't get my memo. I just assumed everybody knew that. Now I have to figure out how in the heck I'm going to get Steven to rip up the new flooring and Ooh. add... Oh, he's going to be angry. I haven't been watching the build, so for all I know, they're doing a better job. I don't know. You know what? We're going to leave it here and we'll come back with an update. Go and check out Rich's video and let me know if he's doing an okay job um, or if he should recruit Dana. And I should probably go because... Because um, I need to get to work. And I think I was supposed to meet up with Rich and Steven. I'm always late, guys. I'm always late. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been a little bit since I've uploaded. I've actually been doing a lot of travel series. Got to get to the editing part, but stay tuned. Go ahead and check out Rich's video for the update of the build, and I'll see you guys soon.